Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And uh, we're looking, this is Wednesday the 26th, and we're looking at the volatility index down $1.42 at $29.47. The market has been all over the show, but all on the upside after that uh, earlier, um, it was last night sell off. And then all of a sudden, about two o'clock this morning, whoosh, you went up to the top side. And uh, what we're looking at here is that the volatility index uh, three days ago made a high of 38.94. That is usually where you get your major turnaround. And that, to me, is um, a very good indicator to say emotionally and technically that was some kind of a top in the market bottom. Now, how the rally unfolds, now we can go to the Dow, and I'll just do this real quickly, INDU, the Dow trading right. The Dow trading right now up uh, 194. It was up almost $500. It was up at 34,815. Almost touched the nine period exponential moving average. And then it pulled back to the 200 period moving average, which is acting like a magnet right now at 34,484. So what we need to see is that after the Fed speak between 2 and 2.30 and then maybe go another 10 minutes into 2.40, we will see whether the market responded because Powell, I don't think, is going to do anything aggravating the market. But there just might be a few little hiccups there. Basically, what we're looking at is that the market is ready for a, a pretty decent, we we'll call it a bounce at first. But most importantly, what we need to see is that after, let's call it three o'clock, the Dow has really come back and it's close to that up 300 level, maybe even more. And the S&P is up now. It's up 46, but it's now up 65 and holding. And that will be a good sign. And that'll say, you know what, this is the kind of takeoff you like to see. I don't have it on the technicals because the histogram of the, of the MACD is still really poor. So those, those are the things you want to see. You do not want to see a give back and then just a kind of a narrow close on the day and then kind of a struggle over the next two days to get going. Also, you want to see the semiconductors really participate. They usually lead the market up and down. Right now, they, they, they're kind of weak at 271. You want to see them up at 274 or more. You want to see the VIX down in the 27s or lower. That'll be a positive. You want to see the QQQ. Finally, you want to see the NASDAQ stocks not only up five right now at 350. You want to see them breaking the high of the day, which was at 33.53.83. That's important. Dollar's been rallying, gold has pulled back, crude oil is holding quite well. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a very interesting session. Stay tuned and if you need to have cash ready, you can start putting it to work soon, I bet. Stay tuned for Larry Pesavento. Great programming coming up.